Um, but it's Saturday, gonna hit this workout in. We're gonna get this workout in. And then I have a lot of online work to do, and then we're gonna go out to dinner, and uh, possibly go see a movie or something, and just enjoy the day. So, um, right now Nikki's posting on my Instagram. She's my manager, I'm just kidding. I always post, she's the only time she ever posts on my Instagram. But uh, just going over my clothing. Got Gymshark, obviously, hoodie, I'm sorry, beanie, why, what am I saying today? Got beanie, shirt, track pants. Uh, a lot of you guys ask me what shoes I wear, and these are the red Nike Hyperfeels. I actually don't think they're for sale anymore. They were on sale for like a very short amount of time, and I ended up snagging them before they took them off the website. Uh, but I wear those, and then I've got my trusty 10 millimeter uh, turquoise, no, uh, yeah, it's the turquoise Enzer belt. Super excited about the new facility, guys. Like I was just telling Nikki, I just can't wait to work out with all the new equipment and have everything spaced out really nice and laid out and everything. Just kind of rambling. Uh, I have C4 in my system, two scoops. Not just one scoop, not one and a half, but two, which is a lot for me. Uh, yesterday I took two scoops. You can tell I'm just talking. Yesterday I took two scoops without eating anything and I felt like I was just on fire. All right, what's going on family? Back with the live commentary for you all and gonna take you through my back and bicep workout for this given day. Uh, working out at Lifetime Fitness just because there was so much equipment just crammed into CG Fitness. Uh, Nathan and I did get a chance to go rearrange, which you're gonna see later on in this vlog, but uh, let's go and get started. So start out with sets of bodyweight pull-ups and I've been doing these for the really decent amount of time. Uh, I started, when I first started doing them, uh, sets of eight, you know, just four or five sets of eight. As time went on, doing sets of 10. And then as time went on, like right now, I'm doing sets of 12. Uh, eventually, yes, I'm gonna be adding weight, but currently I'm just loving the body weight, guys. I, you can't explain it, it's just like, even if you hit one week of, let's say you do five sets of 10 reps, and you you know complete all five, set, five sets of 10, and then the next week you do five sets of 10 as well, um, I feel like there's still a difference, you know, even if it's just little things like feeling your muscle contract better, you know, activating your lats more, and uh, focusing on keeping the scapula, you know, engaged the entire time. Little things like that just, it's like quality of reps, you know, so I'm really, really just focusing on getting quality reps and engaging my lats um, and getting them firing, and I'm loving it. I feel like I've seen the most back growth and width, back progress I've ever made uh, really these past, like, six to eight months I would say uh, so I definitely recommend trying that out and like I said eventually yes I'll be adding weight uh, very very gradually so I can be sure I'm still controlling um, and contracting how I want to moved on to some deadlifts did three sets of three reps uh, just some triples here with 350 pounds I haven't touched deadlifts since uh, Max and Nick were here back in August so it's been Wow, it's almost been like four, what, four or five months since I've touched them, but uh, I felt like doing them. You know, I wanted to do some rack pulls, and I figured, ah, let's do some deadlifts, just, you know, do some full range of motion rack pulls. Um, so 350, three, three by three, haven't done it in a while, pretty happy with it, and uh, moved on to some cable rows right here. Here, uh, this set you're watching right now, I bumped the weight up pretty heavy. I knew it was going to be heavy, so excuse the form if there's a little bit of swaying, but um, really, really loving this movement. I pretty much do... Either if I'm not doing the cable row, I'm doing, or I'm sorry, like these two grips, I'm doing the, the, you know, the little, not the V bar, but it's like the, you know what I'm talking about, that little grip. Uh, and if not, if I'm not doing that, I'm doing some sort of machine row. Uh, definitely love those rowing movements, uh, along with a lot of vertical pulling movements, but horizontal pulling. That's what I wanted to say, not rowing. <laughs> um, anyway, moved on to some bicep curls here. Just doing some alternating sets of 10 to 12 and actually supersetting here. I uh, really enjoy supersetting the biceps, especially on back and bicep day. I like to emphasize my back a little bit more because I do have an arm and shoulder day uh, or arms and shoulders, arm and shoulder day, whatever you want to say. Um, so here, just supersetting with some hammer curls, lightening the weight um, on the hammers and just supersetting those back and forth. That, that pump. But um, other than that, about to show, oh, I damn, I didn't even talk about the update of what I'm gonna be doing. 
So right now, guys, it officially marks six weeks I've been in a caloric deficit. I started dieting October 15th, and from October 15th to Thanksgiving, pretty much, I dropped exactly uh, between nine and 10 pounds in my body weight. So it's currently sitting, or I was sitting right at Thanksgiving, about 164 to 165. And right now, at this time, you know, as of December, I really don't want to go any lower than that, uh, just because I don't really need to be shredded, shredded until in my I, when when I want to be shredded is in March. So um, I pretty much have all of December, all of January, uh, February, and then I want to come in pretty good condition in March. So, um, you know, I hate going back and forth and bulk and cutting, but it's just, seriously guys, it's like part of where I am right now. You know, I wish, yes, I wish I could bulk for a year straight. I wish I could bulk for 18 months straight and put on, put on all the muscle I could, but the harsh reality is that's not really what's best for me uh, in my current situation. So um, not going to bulk per se for the next, you know, six to eight weeks or so, but I'm going to keep my weight under about 170. I'm going to let myself get, you know, gain a few pounds, really focusing on bringing up my legs and my abs, really developing my abs. So next time I cut down, hopefully if I can put on some muscle in the short amount of time, they'll be a little bit thicker and more developed, but I will be back with this commentary uh, in a few minutes. So enjoy these next raw clips and I'll see y'all soon. On our way to CG Fitness, got to do a lot of orders today uh, because of Black Friday. Got to do all those orders and have them shipped out by tomorrow, by Monday. So uh, that's the goal. Have a lot of them to do. And we're about to take our five hour energy shots and then uh, hit a workout. Is that a cop? I can never tell. Um, breast cancer, pink lemonade flavor, five hour energy shots, and then uh, going to work out later. I'm hitting legs. I don't know, who are you hitting? Legs. Legs and legs. I can't wait to try out that new hack squat machine. Uh, I'm very excited for that. And here we go. I need this to like focus on printing labels. That's like very monotonous work. Monotonous. Oh, it's in my eye. The word, the vocabulary of Actually, like the pink lemonade, is real. Ugh. Has a bad aftertaste, apparently. Ugh. <laughs> Tastes good when you like take it down, though, right? And then the aftertaste. Ugh. I don't even have any of the shirts with me. They're at my uh, my printing guy right now, who's like very close to me. So he's coming at 1:45 to bring everything over. So for the next hour, it's about 12:45. I'm just gonna straight print, 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 and get everything prepped. Hopefully have a few people come help out uh, with packaging later on and uh, I have like this idea in my head of what I want to do for my workout, but I'm going to save that for later on in this video. Alright guys, so we had to go get some ink. Uh, I was printing labels and ran out of ink, so we went to fries, picked that up. Also picked up some pop chips, sea salt and vinegar flavor. Nikki got some barbecues. Got some friends over here, family over here, and we got to pack some orders. Got hoodies, the boxes. Got red shirts. We got the gym. We about to get to work. No. Hey. Black Friday. We're about 40 to 45% done with the orders right now. Uh, we're done printing the orders. We're still packaging. Got a lot of stuff over here. These are ready to go. And, uh, it's really just three items. It's the gray hoodies, it's the blue hoodies, and it's the red CG Fitness t-shirts. Come in here, got some more. Everyone's feeling sick right now. <laughs> we're all sick, working on orders, so. Very thankful for the help. And um, we're gonna finish up the ones that I've printed, which are, like I said, about 40 to 45% of the total orders. And then I uh, get a workout in, hit some legs, and, uh, you grab me a and then um, grab some food and probably come back tonight and do some more slash tomorrow morning. So, what's going on? So like I was saying in that previous commentary, uh, I'm gonna take these next six to eight weeks to really just, you know, I, I like I said, I don't, I don't, I don't wanna say commit to a bulk, um, but just try to almost maintain my weight, let the weight go up a few pounds maybe uh, over the next few weeks, and just really focus on bringing up my legs and my abs. Uh, those are gonna be the main focuses during these next, uh, this, or this little training cycle. Uh, so yeah, 
here for this workout. Like I said in this uh, in the vlog, I guess I want to do something a little bit different. Uh, first and foremost, I wanted to try out the new hack squat machine. I was really really looking forward to trying this out because I had just purchased it and never used it. So we ended up doing 10 sets of 10 reps here, guys, using the same exact weight. And um, I think I recorded like set two, set five, set seven, and then set number 10. And uh, let me tell you, it got pretty brutal towards the end. You're definitely gonna see, you know, here on the earlier sets you're seeing, you know, going up pretty smooth, going down, going up smooth. And as the sets go on, uh, especially in the 10th set, you're gonna see how slow the reps ended up being uh, on the last few. They're definitely some grinders. I'm loving this hack squat because you really just feel isolation in your hamstrings and your quads. Um, so yeah, loving it. And I did 10 sets 10, so did Nathan and Will also did. So it was like a nice little rotation and 100 total working reps. And we didn't do as many exercises this day, obviously, because we were doing so many, so much volume uh, with certain exercises. Uh, I think a lot of people call this GBT, German Volume Training, but um, I just say call it 10 sets of 10. Here, this is set number seven, I believe. And you're gonna see a little bit, uh, a few more grinders. By the way, check out the new shorts, guys. I wanna thank Nikki for getting me those shorts. They're uh, some Nike shorts and they actually come in with like, they come, I didn't know this, but they come in with built-in compression shorts. So it's pretty cool. I uh, wasn't expecting it when I put on the shorts. I was like, whoa, what is this? This is like some type of underwear, but uh, it's really cool. You can see the Nike Pro Combat matching those mint shorts. I wanna get some more color. I wanna get like a black pair and a gray pair and a blue pair. So here's set, set number 10. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys watch this raw uh, set and be back in a second. There's a lot of commentary in this video. All right, so as you saw, the, the last few reps there were definitely some grinders. Uh, really enjoyed that 10 sets of 10, and kind of kept that same scheme. Moved on to some standing calf raises. And on these, these are my feet, you know, my right foot, my left foot. Uh, instead of focusing, a lot of people kind of come like this. As they push up, they put a lot of weight on their big toe and kind of go inward. So I'm really trying to focus on evenly pushing up and uh, working my, my calves, focusing on the gastrocnemius with the standing. And... Um, after that, I moved on to eight sets of the lying leg curl. I feel like the hack squat, uh, you know, I had my foot placement decently low. Uh, I feel like it targeted my quads a little bit more than my hams, so I wanted to give the hams some, the hams for the mams, give them some attention. So that's gonna conclude this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. ChristianUsmond.com for online training and apparel. Uh, eight week, 12 week, and 16 week macro coaching options are available, as well as a few more options. So check it out if you're interested, and uh, I will see y'all in the next video. Just trying to make an imprint on the game